If all the overdue parking tickets were paid in Victoria, taxes would drop. Right now, unpaid parking fines amount to $1.2 million. There's a call for stricter regulations when it comes to city-run pay parking. Bruce Kirkpatrick tells us more. It's not a job everyone would want, but Andrew takes it in a day's work, as do dozens of other commissioners who ticket cars and trucks in Victoria. Katie and her son Attica have just received one right outside City Hall. I just got a ticket, so I'm just going to pay it right now. Ooh, that's quick. Yeah, well, if you don't pay it within a certain amount of days, you have to pay like double, I guess. It's enough to ruin or at least dampen your day, but parking tickets help pay for the beauty of the city and city services. The city issues 180,000 parking tickets a year. 36,000 haven't been paid yet. And if the $1.2 million in outstanding parking fines was paid, where would the money go? 1.2 million, that's basically almost uh, one and a half to two percent of a tax increase that we wouldn't have to bring in. It has also been suggested that perhaps your vehicle registration be cancelled, your insurance be cancelled, that's ICBC, but their hands are tied because either would require provincial change of legislation. A change in legislation would have to come through the Solicitor General and Public Safety Ministry. So far they have not replied to our requests for comment. In Ontario, there's legislation whereby you cannot renew your license if you have unpaid parking fines. Meanwhile, this could be Barry's lucky day. No, no. doesn't work. Out of order. You get free parking then? No, I don't believe these guys. Find another place. So he went around the corner and paid his due at another machine. Works. Victoria does have a bit of a reputation as the parking ticket capital of Canada, but... We've often heard, uh, brought in by businesses to say, how do we uh, allow for, for people to move over, to make sure that there's more and more people coming downtown. You can pay your parking tickets here at City Hall. If you don't, a collection agency may eventually track you down, but even then the city loses money. The collection agency gets about oh, 25 to 30 percent success rate, but about two-thirds to three-quarters of that uh, doesn't get paid. Officials in Victoria and Vancouver are calling on the provincial government to change the law so motorists with delinquent parking tickets can't get ICBC renewal. See you guys later. Meanwhile, Katie and her little son bite the bill. They're at City Hall anyway.